I am the change. We have received a British Pound grant for a four-year period uh, to uh, scale up safe care, which is already there in Tanzania to uh, 400, at least 400 uh, private uh, and also a limited number of public healthcare facilities uh, in all over Tanzania. Well, safe, safe care, to, uh, to, to explain it very simply, is um, a, uh, a certification towards accreditation system, which means you want healthcare facilities in Tanzania to comply with international standards. We have the quality part and business part. So technical advice has been given on the business part. There's increased number of patients. Definitely the income also has increased. And they have changed so much from manual to intranet system, so they are computerized. So it is easy even to get the reports and have them on board. I thought I needed to change something, but if I worked in one hospital, then I would change in that hospital only. So I didn't have another platform where I can do that. So when I got this position, I, I knew that we were dealing with more than 100 hospitals, so I thought this is a good place for me to help the doctors and the managers, hospital managers, to change the way we do things so that at least um, we'll do in the standard way like it required international standards. Even the number of patients has increased, so that means they are happy with the services, but we can't prove it now. But then even the way they used to organize, for example, we are currently here in the lab, and um, they didn't use to control the quality that much, but as you can see, there's a, this is external quality assurance file, and then they have internal quality assurance file, so they're even ensuring the quality of the services that they're offering. We now have proper dustbin which are colored, and they even show people where to throw waste and how to segregate waste. Um, we've introduced the directional signs which were not there before, so the patients know where to go and where uh, to, uh, to get their services. The way the patients are received now, the waiting time, the, the, workers, the staff here are very cautious now about the waiting time for the patients. They control the, the, the waiting times and as we are speaking they are also introducing another system that will be calling patients and also checking how long the patient has stayed in the hospital just as to make sure that the patient doesn't spend most of the time in, in the hospital and they come and they get saved fast and they leave. So we were devoted in 2010 for not reaching the required levels and standards. And um, around 2014, we, we got several, uh, several capacity building exposures from Arthur. They coached us, they guided us, they educated us. All. And then towards the end of, of 2014, we were reassessed by the ministry and were found to be okay. So we are now back to health center level. Kwa jengo, jengo lilikuwa halikuwa kwenye hali nzuri sana. Sasa hivi limefanywa repair, limepakwa rangi, linapendeza na linavutia. Kwenye mabomba kwa mfano maji, yalikuwa mara nyingine hayatoki ya kutosha. Mabomba yalikuwa yanavuja. Lakini sasa hivi tunashukuru hali ni nzuri pia umeme ulikuwa sio wa uhakika wakati mwingine tulikuwa tukitoa huduma tunakosa umeme tumepata generator kwa hiyo huduma zinaenda bila shida uh, space was squeezing in, in the first place and also the arrangement of things were a bit haphazard um, so we we were introduced to the patterns of arranging things through a lot of things uh, from personnel management and keeping up the files. It means initially when we started we had just premises, we had nothing. Then we started pur purchasing the hospital furniture. So we kept the thing here and there and we, we were a bit at a disarray, you know, we were, we were vaguely going on. And when they come, they say, no, do this thing, this is some small, small thing which makes big difference. You know? in terms of setting the premises, making it in different, different sections, like ER should be apart, labor room should be this area, ICU should be this, this portion should be isolated. 
there were two prime considerations. One was the convenience of the patient and the other was the convenience of the staff as well. So we need to have free mobility, move around and we should be very, in certain location, doctor and medic, paramedics need to be close to the patient. I think you find all across Tanzania unique and special, passionate people. And once you find them, they are out there doing something different and trying to make a change. Getting into generalizations and results about poverty and disenfranchisement and those things is a narrative that some people carry, but I can tell you from HDIF's experience and the farm access experience has been part of it, that there are just really special people out there who are making a difference.